thank you for 350 subscribers. Let's start reading. Failed Experiment by yours truly. It was just one night ago that made me alert during the evenings for eternity. I was out and about that autumn night getting my groceries my family needed for a meal. I had to check the other way around since the other way was blocked by a falling tree due to the lightning storm. Through the twists and turns were trees and bushes, and the only sounds I heard were the rain splashing onto the mo mushed ground and the splattering footsteps of my shoes. Thankfully, I noticed a shelter where I could dry off. It was an abandoned building, but it was better than ra facing the hard rain outside the building. Everything was at peace, and I decided to sit on the rusty, on the rather dusty chair, then, then put my belongings on a nearby table, until I heard a startling crash of glass. I looked around to see if I could spot any... I looked around to see if I could spot someone or something that made this cause of that sound, and there was nothing to be seen, so I decided to search around the room for a bit. The floor was scattered with papers and pages that all started with Dear Jenna, and the rest were either scratched out, ripped, or covered. As for the desks, there were mechanical items, tools, broken or spilled bottles, but the fluids were either dried up or cleaned. The cabinets had more empty jars, tools, and broken mechanics that were all organized in different categories. I decided to check out in the window to see if the rain stopped pouring before I heard another sound outside the decrepit building. Opening the door, I quickly made my way out. You're not from here, are you? A voice was heard from behind the building. Who, who's there? I spoke out, wait, awaiting the response. Why are you here? They called out. Didn't I hear what I just said? You must be lost. How about I help you? The voice was behind me. I turned around and fell backwards on how monstrous it looked. The figure was a creature, nay, possibly even a human, who was around nine feet tall, had one arm as a steel blade and the other one decaying. The clothing was torn up, that thing even had some sort of charm hanged around, hanged around its neck. I believe that its eyes were the ones that haunted by dreams and visions the most. They never blinked, and they were wide open, with one being robotic and the other one being infected by some sort of parasite. I quickly ran to shelter and blocked the windows and locked the door, searching for anyone or anything. <clears throat> For anything I could use for information. I found a journal lying under the desk, untouched for possibly years or decades even. The date was May 3rd, 1975, and it, and it once again read Dear Jenna. I kept on reading to see if there was any clue on this being. And this was all I found. Today is once again a failure. I tried my hardest on how to cure this virus. Sadly, I had no choice but to resort to fixing your limbs with the scrapped metal I found near the base. There had to be a way to fix your legs and arm before the virus could get to your vital organs. Thankfully enough, I have just the right amount of metal to fix the legs, but not enough to fix your arm. I am truly sorry. Your eye always warmed my- your smile always warmed my heart and relieved stress from my works. For being an assassin, I was actually quite surprised for me to do all of this. Once you awake from your deep slumber, please remember to protect this area for I shall come back to it some day. That is all I could collect from the scraps that were provided. The banging upon the door stopped as the shredding of metal was heard instead. You are intruding this place. Get out, or I shall use force. Before I could dodge, I said one thing that I regretted saying after I saw its face. Are you perhaps... Jenna? Her eyes twitched and widened as an excruciating scream ex escaped from her gaping mouth. What did you do to him? 
She swung her blade near my shoulder, ripping only just the fabric of my silk shirt. I ran towards the exit, squeezing through the open center of the torn door, lunging my bag upon my left shoulder as I, I ran as fast as I could until I heard the screams and scratching metal upon the gravel path. She was right behind me as her blade sliced th thoroughly through my skin and bones. Only having one limb sliced off. Massive amounts of blood was seeping out once I fell onto the stone pathway, and the only thing I could remember was there. From there was that Jenna escaped back to the base once the civilians and police found me unconscious. Once I finally awoken from my deep slumber, I found a note that was left on my left table. Whether you were out and about or inside, I will keep watching you until I finally find your fragile body. I gulped at the crude writing and the hole that was poked through near the paper. I peered out the window as the rain continued falling on the evening sky, seeing glowing red light out in the distance, set, sent tingles of fright down my spine. I knew never to pro cross that path until that THING went away. It's too dangerous to face such a frightening 